heating market, right? We've seen, we've had seven periods where Bitcoin more than doubled in a month, right. uh, which I, I, I think of qualifying as a bubble. And they're always followed by greater than 50 Do we know if it's drawdowns. the same investors that, 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 that come back or, do, or is, it, is it always a new group? But do they wash each other out? Because I think that's going to be an important component to this, given that there was a lot of volume, actually, I mean, on a relative basis, yeah. back when we were talking about 20,000. If you have a whole generation of investors washed out of this who say, you know what, this was too painful for me. Well, hopefully you're not one of them. And they're totally right. If you go on CoinMarketCap, you can go look at the history. But this 80% correction has happened numerous times for Bitcoin. And um, it's interesting to see that obviously it's never gone to zero. It's never died. And although it hits, you know, major, major correction territory, it rebounds and it recovers. And uh, I do feel like this technology is going to stay. So if you are a crypto investor and uh, you don't understand the fundamentals, then it does make sense to sell and get yourself out of the market. But if you do believe in the long term use of cryptocurrencies, I do feel like and it may not be Bitcoin, but uh, one of these commodities is going to be used not only just for transactions, but to store wealth that the government cannot touch. And um, if you're following this channel, I've repeated it. The reason I invest in cryptocurrencies is because, you know, I own a lot of real estate and real estate is very hard to liquidate and it's very easy for the government to seize and, uh, t you know, take away those assets. And there's really nothing I can do about it. Now, I'm fortunate that I live in the U.S., which is a very stable government. But, you know, if I live in other countries uh, like Syria, for example, uh, if I had a million dollars in the bank uh, the next day, it could be half a million because the government just seizes it without my permission. And there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, and I do feel like if it's not Bitcoin, one of these cryptocurrencies will become the Bitcoin where people will store their wealth on, on, on with that uh, commodity. And um, I'm going to continue to watch the market and I'm going to continue to buy this dip. Obviously, I uh, have a lot more money invested in other assets. Uh, my crypto holdings are still under 10% of my net worth, probably actually less than 5%, but I'm going to keep increasing because I do believe in this technology and I'm okay with taking a loss because long term I do want an alternative to our modern banking system because they're making a lot of the money and they don't really share the profits to the user where there's a lot more equality with crypto. Uh, but let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you soon.